Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. This episode is titled Breathe Easy. Breathe Easy. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Breathe yeah. Easy. Because okay. there's often a lot of times where it's hard to breathe. Um, I mean, when is it hard to breathe for you? Or you, Pastor? Oh, man. It's when I'm running like oh, eight yeah. miles last night. Uh huh. <laughs> after dinner, <laughs> I have tacos and nachos and. Uh, then I'm like, oh, yeah, let's go on a run. Eight miles. That's, I'm, I'm going to really do an awesome job. You know, that was hard to breathe. That's not exactly what you mean, though. <laughs> no, not exactly, no. but it's still, it's technically I mean, an example. You know, we get, that, we get a phone call at, you know, midnight that someone died. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's, there's a little bit of panic there. Yeah. You know, a, little bit, a little bit of anxiety. Mm-hmm. Um, just, yeah. yeah, just all the unexpectedness and ministry. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But, I mean, just... Even you, uh, dear audience, mm-hmm. friends, brothers, sisters mm-hmm. in Christ, um, you know, there's a lot that makes it hard to breathe in life. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think of just like the test taking. Oh, yeah. Applying to all the different colleges and universities mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. holding your breath, hoping mm-hmm. to get into the one that mm-hmm. you really want to get into. Right. Um, your first job interview. First job interview. Oh, yeah. Get, yeah. Learning how to drive and taking your driver's license test. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah there, there's a lot. That makes it hard to breathe. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, the, the phone call saying that, mm-hmm. that, you know, a grandparent died mm-hmm. uh, without any warning, mm-hmm. wasn't yeah. on the radar. Yeah. It was unexpected. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, yeah. The a list lot. can go on and on. And just, you know, it, uh, if you struggle with anxiety or other um, type mm-hmm. of things with your mental health, then that's its own category, regardless of yeah. even these yeah. events that we talked about. And, and so then all of those things are where it's hard to breathe, but we're in good company. We're not the only ones who have yeah. trouble breathing at times. Um, cause we look at Ezekiel 37 and we're seeing the children of Israel, uh, God's people in the old Testament, um, in the Babylonian captivity, they're having a really hard time breathing. Oh yeah. You've got it. Yeah. Super hard time. I mean, mm-hmm. Yeah, there's there's this vision of a valley Mm -hmm. that Ezekiel is given and Mm -hmm. uh, all these dry bones. Mm -hmm. And that really is the the picture of Israel. They're in a Babylonian graveyard. Mm -hmm. You know, they feel like death is all around them. Death Mm -hmm. is inside them. It's Mm -hmm. just death, 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 death. Mm -hmm. Dead end, dead end, dead end. Mm -hmm. I mean, the temple destroyed the very place where they met with God. They uh, received his blessing. It's where Mm -hmm. he dwelt with his people. And and the temple's gone. Mm-hmm. destroyed mm-hmm. uh they have been uprooted and replanted in foreign soil right they're not yeah. i mean the routines are they're gone mm-hmm. uh you know the, the the family dindins gone uh i mean it's just uh you know it's just life is so different mm-hmm. and it doesn't look like they're gonna go back to uh jerusalem i mean mm-hmm. even the king the throne gone mm-hmm. i mean it's yeah. just whew. yeah so i mean you feel trapped no way out no no light at the end of the tunnel and that's why they say this our bones are dried up our hope is lost we are indeed cut off oh, and that man. is how they felt and that's how we feel sometimes too hopeless hapless helpless mm-hmm. yeah. yes that is but then that's where the the image the, that we're gonna have here in ezekiel 37 is so beautiful so graphic really um because uh the lord um asks Ezekiel, son of man, can these bones live? And what does Ezekiel say? Uh, he's like, well, Lord, uh, you know. Why are you asking me? <laughs> You're God. You know the answer. He's kind of like trying to yeah. not uh, say the wrong thing. <laughs> and, and, and maybe Ezekiel has some doubts. I mean, mm-hmm. that's, I mean, these are more, I mean, it, it, it just, the, these are bones that look like they're not coming back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're gone. Yeah. And I mean, in Ezekiel's experience, he hasn't seen uh, dead people rise. I mean, yeah, so exactly. what does he have anything to base on? So they prophesize and yeah. uh, from Ezekiel's mouth, there is breath, yes. right? And the breath is really the Holy Spirit. Spirit. And what happens to all these bones? Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful. The rattling. They rattling. <laughs> <laughs> they get covered with with skin. Well, they come together. The bones yeah, come the, together. Yeah, yeah, and then their sinews. Yeah, I mean, muscles. it's just like everything's starting uh-huh. to form together. Flesh. Yes, yeah. kind of seems a bit like you know Adam's creation mm-hmm. being formed out of the dust yeah. of the earth. 
Yeah. yeah. But then they're just standing there, mm -hmm. lifeless. Zombie-like. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't want to say that. No. Uh, I think it's like in confirmation. We always have to have the zombie... Con the, the, the zombie, you know, conversation with uh -huh. resurrection. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. Um, Jesus wasn't a zombie. Yep, okay. exactly. He was not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then... So they're standing there. Um, yeah. No life. No life. Exactly. So he says... He says... The Lord says... Prophesy yeah. to the breath. And say to the breath, thus says the Lord, come from the, four wind, from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain, that they may live. And so then he breathes, um, the breath of life fills, fills them. Yeah. yeah, and they become an exceedingly great army. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, yeah, they're alive. Yeah. They're living and breathing mm -hmm. with God's breath. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, this is... Uh, a vision, a picture that is to capture the hearts and the imaginations of the Israel, the it, the Israelites, knowing mm -hmm. that they're not at a dead end. Mm -hmm. that, that God takes what looks like uh, just tragedy, mm -hmm. uh, a nightmare, mm -hmm. and and uh, just just nothing but a graveyard. And he, and he takes all that in His hands, mm -hmm. and He really breathes hope mm -hmm. into their situation. Yeah. That that this is not the end. Mm -hmm. They're there's not, life. There's life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's life beyond life after death. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And uh, and then yeah. Ezekiel yeah. is uh, is told, you know, mm -hmm. that uh, that the Lord is going to uh, bring them out of their graves and return mm -hmm. them to their land, and they will return. Mm -hmm. They will return. Yeah, mm -hmm. they will yeah. return. Now, what does this have to do with us? Well, this reading is actually. Uh, part of the uh the pentecost readings it is it's the old testament reading yeah. of pentecost the giving of the holy spirit mm -hmm. and why yeah. would that uh be part of like pentecost the ezekiel 37 reading yeah well because i mean what we have is uh i mean pentecost is about jesus giving his holy spirit to his church and the whole reason jesus is able to do that is because on the friday we call good what happened to his breath? He he gave up his breath. He gave up the spirit um, on the cross and then laid in the tomb for three days and then rose so that then at Pentecost, he could fill us with his Holy Spirit. Fill uh, dry bones, me, pastor, you with his Holy Spirit so that we have have life in us. We have a breath that's beyond this world. And so now we've got this breath um, that you received at your baptism, that we received at our baptism, that we receive in the Lord's Supper and through our Lord's word and our devotions and in the preached mm -hmm. word, um, yeah. that now we're filled with that life-giving breath that one, no one can take away, mm -hmm. and, and two, that gives you know out of this world strength um, for mm -hmm. all of the things in life that uh, take our breath away in a bad way. Um, so we're able to breathe easy because mm -hmm. now we've been filled with the Holy Spirit. Jesus mm -hmm. has breathed into us his life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that Holy Spirit, uh, you know, the helper, mm -hmm. the comforter, yeah. the strengthener, the encourager. Mm -hmm. uh, these are all the names that are given to the Holy Spirit. And they're mm -hmm. not just names. This is uh, really unpacking for us what he does yeah. in our lives in us mm -hmm. every breath we take we're reminded that uh yeah uh god is as close to me as my own breath is mm -hmm. you know yeah. that every breath I, I i i i take in and every breath i breathe out you know mm -hmm. this is a reminder that that i am filled with the breath of life the holy mm -hmm. spirit right yeah yes yeah and that makes me even think of like john 20 when jesus breathes on his disciples and says receive the holy spirit mm -hmm. And he says, peace be with you. I mean, whenever we're taking a breath in and taking it out, like you're saying, I mean, we can, can hear our Lord's words. Peace be with you. Um, receive the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I mean, what what an assurance just throughout your day to just notice that breath. <laughs> yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Yeah, so now, I mean, we can breathe easy. Cause, breathe easy. Because at the end of the day, the Holy Spirit's breathing in us, through us, with us. Yeah. Um, we're not breathing alone. We're carried along by, mm -hmm. by that breath. Yeah. Yep. 
who's never bad breath at all. <laughs> no breath mints required. Exactly. It is the sweet smell of resurrection. Woo! The amazing uh, flavor of hope. Yeah. Flavor of hope. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I that that's just what came to my mind. I don't know what that smells like. Uh huh. It smells like hope. Yeah. What does hope smell like? Some might say cinnamon rolls. Oh my goodness. Some might say uh, Burger King. Some might say you know a T bone steak. Some might say coffee. <laughs> I was gonna say Easter lilies, but <laughs> oh okay. Yeah, Easter Sunday, the day we we need Benadryl because of all the all the flowers in church. True story. True story. <laughs> Benadryl Sunday, also oh, known man. as uh, Easter Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So yeah, we are filled with the breath of life. So mm-hmm. so take heart. You can you can uh, you can breathe easy. Mm-hmm. Um, no matter what comes your way, you're not mm-hmm. at a dead end. Mm-hmm. You're not uh, in a, a graveyard. Right. Um, you know, it's a, this graveyard of nope has been transformed into mm-hmm. a garden of hope. Mm-hmm. And that's really what this entire world is being transformed into a garden yeah. of hope. Yes. Uh, because there are no dead ends. Mm-hmm. We, uh, we are filled with the very one who already went toe to toe with death mm-hmm. and rose on Easter morning. Yeah. Uh, his breath now is dwelling in you mm-hmm. and dwelling in me and deaconess. And yeah, we know that. Nothing can really take our breath away. Exactly. In, in the bad sense of that expression. Yes. Because I mean, the Grand Canyon does take your breath away. It's really big. It's a huge hole in the ground. And also, you know, the arch in St. Louis. That's super tall. It is. There's a lot of good things that take your breath away. But that's not what we're, we're, we've been talking about. You know that. So, uh, so you can breathe easy. You can breathe easy dear friends. Yes. The Holy Spirit dwells in you, the breath mm-hmm. of God, the breath that endures forever. Amen. Yeah. So by his wounds, we are healed. Until next time. See you later. Toodles. Cheers.